Minister Kelly Lock. All right, Minister Kelly, go right ahead. Amen. Pastor, did you tell me to pray? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you, 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 would, you would do it all. So. All right. Grace and peace, everyone. <laughs> Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just come before you, just thanking you for another day that you have allowed us to see. We thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to get together, God, and to study your word, God, and to hear a word from you. God, I ask even right now that the word that you have given me, God, that it will fall on good ground tonight, God. I pray, Lord, that ears will be open and hearts will be ready to receive, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for this time. We thank you for this opportunity. And we never take it for granted, God. Lord, you have your way tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Grace and peace again to everyone. I pray that everyone had a wonderful and great day. I will not be before you long, but I do have a word for you from the Lord. This evening, I will be coming from Galatians and we are gonna be looking at chapter six. And I'm only gonna read two verses for you tonight. We are going to read verse one and verse two. And if you are able to stand, please do so for the reading of God's word. And I will be reading from the New King James Version. Thus beginning the reading of God's word. Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness considering yourself, lest you also be tempted. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Thus endeth the reading of God's word. And if I can use for a particular topic tonight or title, it will be, will you help carry the load? Will you help carry the load? As we have entered into the month of November, we have entered into, as you all know, the pre-holiday season. This month, people will start preparing for Thanksgiving. They begin to work on their guest list. We still have to determine who's coming to dinner, who's vaccinated, who's not vaccinated. That will all go into play on who is coming to dinner. People are thinking about food preparations. They're trying to make travel arrangements. We know that this month is known as a month to reflect and to be thankful for all that God has done. Even though we know that every day is the day of Thanksgiving. We also know that while many of us are thinking about the blessing that we have received, Others have already started to prepare for the Christmas season. Christmas lists are being made. Christmas cards are ready to go out in the mail by December 1st. A lot of preparation is going into place. This time of year is supposed to be a joyous time. However, how many of you know that it's not like that for everyone? During this time, depression and anxiety increase. People are more prone to miss loved ones who have gone home to be with the Lord. During this season, we find it oftentimes when depression hits, when loneliness hits, we tend to isolate or revert back to our old ways and start to indulge in behavior that is not pleasing to God. We go back to sinful behavior to take away the hurt, to take away the pain that we may feel during this season. And as we begin to look at our scripture text, Paul reminds us in chapter one, if any man is overtaken by trespasses, in other words, if anyone is taken over by sin, we who are spiritual restore such a one through the spirit of gentleness. 
once again, a lot of times during the season, people go into a depression and what happens, they separate themselves. We have to be mindful. We have to be watchful of those around us watching behaviors so that when we see those things, we who are spiritual, we can reach out and we can help. We have to ask God for discernment to let us know when something is wrong, when someone is hurting, when someone has fallen back into sin so that we can uplift them, we can pray with them, we can lead them back to Jesus. Romans 15, one says, we that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. As we look at verse two, verse two says, bear one another's burden and so fulfill the law of Christ. John 13, 34 reminds us that the law of Christ is to love one another. To bear means to carry. When you think about bearing one another's burden, burden is something beyond the normal capacity to carry. Sometimes the load is so heavy that one is unable to handle it alone. It can make someone unable to function. And a lot of times during these holiday season, during November, during December, this is what we may see. So again, as Christians, we have to look out for our brothers and sisters and be mindful of what's going on around us. When you talk about a load and the load being beyond the normal capacity to carry, I remember when our dryer broke and we had to take our laundry to the laundromat. We washed our clothes at home before, but then we went to go put them in the dryer and we realized the dryer didn't work. Here we have these wet clothes. I don't know if you ever tried to carry a bag of wet clothes, but that load was so heavy, I couldn't carry it by myself. Reverend Larkins could barely carry it on his own. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> but it took the two of us to get the load into the car. It was beyond the normal capacity to carry. So we, I needed help. When the load for one of us is hauling around becomes too heavy, we should be able to step in and help the person get through. Right now, we are seeing more children dealing with mental challenges that the load may be overwhelming for that parent. We need to help them with that load. Someone may be grieving over the loss of a loved one. We need to help lighten that load. Someone may be burdened with the amount of bills that are due. We need to help carry that load. Someone may be burdened with health issues. We need to help carry that load. When they can't pray for themselves, when we can pray with them, when they can't sleep and need someone to talk to, we can be that listening ear. When they want to give up and throw in the towel, we can lead them back to Jesus. We can let them know that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. We can let them know that this too shall pass. We can let them know that this is only for a moment. We can let them know that God will never leave them nor forsake them. And as we are helping them, we have to remember that Jesus told us to cast our cares on him and he will give us rest. Even the load is too much for pastor to carry. Even the load is too much for a husband and wife to carry. Even the load is too much for you and a friend to carry. That's why Jesus told us to bring it all to him. We can take it to him together and leave it at his feet. So as we embark on this thankful season, let's not forget to check in on our brothers and our sisters in Christ. Let's help carry their load. 
Will you help carry their load and give it to Jesus? Let's all help our brothers and sisters. Amen. 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 Thank you, Minister Larkins. God bless you for the word. Praise God for that message uh, about sharing the burden, especially during this season. Where so many people are going through so many things. Uh, God bless you for the word this evening. Uh, let me uh, make some announcements before we, we depart this evening. Um, one, uh, Sister Vicki, uh, we, we, I'm going to ask you to put you on the spot again to talk some more about Angel Tree. Uh, and I've also got something I need to send you because my mother-in-law did the job that you assigned her and she's got information for you. Oh, uh, great. She, yeah, great. yeah, she was quick about it. So, uh, <laughs> but Can you share with, with again with, with what's happening with Angel Tree this year? Yes, Angel Tree, we're... we're picking angel tree back up this year um but this time we're just providing gift cards that the, the caregiver will ask um tell us which one to get and it's still gonna be 40 dollars per child we have right now we have 29 children okay. um i think uh, well right the 29 on the list we may not have reached all 29 um i mean all families but that's how many and also we're looking for any children in the community that may need um, something for Christmas that we can bless them with. And you can see me in church, you could cash at me. It doesn't have to be $40, it could be whatever you wanna give. Um, I will be in church um, on Sundays. So you can stop, pass and see me or meet me outside, meet me downstairs. If we don't wanna congregate in the, um, yeah. in the um, vestibule. So thank and I appreciate um your mother-in-law <laughs> calling yeah. that family for me. Yeah, it was a blessing to her. She she was really feels good about reaching out like that. So and I would yeah. encourage anybody else uh, to get involved with Angel Tree. My mother-in-law feels great about reaching out like that and being a blessing. So oh, that's good. We it's good to know that we may use her when we get more children. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure she would love to help out more too. So and, and encourage everybody around. Yeah. Uh, yes. what about if they um if they know of a child in the area that may need some help because of that that situation, of it, and we're talking about incarcerated uh, loved ones, parents, a lot of times fathers, most of the time. Uh, yes. But if they have, if they know someone, can they contact you about that too? Yes, they can contact me if they, you know, because some people it's supposed to be um, personal. Mm -hmm. Everybody doesn't have to know that somebody's in need, so you can come directly to me. Okay. You can call me. Um, my phone number should be in. I think Sister Kathleen's going to put out a newsletter. Yeah, we well, you could look in the, you know, I don't think it's in the whatever book we had in the past. That's yeah. probably an old number. But yeah, feel free to reach out to me. Okay. And I'll put my Cash App um, name out there if anybody wants to Cash App me. Okay. Or text me or whatever. Uh, there's one in the chat requesting that. If you can put it in the chat. Yes. Uh, the Cash Definitely. App, that'll, that'll get out there for folks right now that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sister Vicki. Appreciate your help on that. Amen. Thanks, Pastor. Okay, uh, let's call it a night, and we will uh, let's let's pray, and then we'll 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 be dismissed this evening. Amen. Father, thank you for this opportunity that you've given to us to to study the word. Thank you for Minister Larkins coming to us, uh, rushing through her schedule to get here, Lord, and for the effort that uh, her and all the other associates put in, Lord, to to sharing the message in the middle of the week like this. Uh, thank you for it. We pray, Lord, that all of us, Lord, will be good and better at, at bearing one another's burdens. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Right. Thank, thank, thank you, Minister Larkin. Larkin. Amen. Okay. Thank you. Minister Larkin. I bless you, Mr. Larkin. Thank you, Sister Vicki, for the cash in. Amen. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Larkin. All right. And peace. Everyone have a blessed evening. All right. Sure God bless you. Good night, everyone. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Minister Larkins. Thank you very much. All right, Sister Sharon. Good night. Bye-bye, everybody. Good night. All right. Good night. Good night. Pastor, you going to call me later? Sister Vicki, you uh, yeah, going to call me later? Yes, I will. Uh, okay. I'll call you right after we get off this. Okay. Say, Who's calling Sister for me? Yes. Uh, it's Sister Rhonda. If you can give me a call, if you need any assistance, you know I'm available to help. Okay. And if you can find us to give me a call. Ita will like this, but she said you need an assistant to help. Right, Ita. I put my. You see my number in the chat. Uh, she oh. can't. I think she's got uh, <laughs> the phone. So let me just tell you the phone number, uh, Sister uh, Rhonda. Uh, the phone. If do you have something to write with, Sister Rhonda? Okay. Wait a minute. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put it in my phone. Okay. Second.
Can you draw the name in your pen, please? Are you going to write down the map? No, me just want a Vicky number. No, I want a Vicky number. Okay. Wait, I'm looking That's for ready. my... Of course I can't find my other phone. Oh, here it is. I'm going to put it in my... <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's what you need it, right? Just a minute. Yep. No, it's not working. Just a minute. Okay, wait a second. Not work, it's not work. Okay, I'm ready. It's two one five. Okay, great. Two one five. I'm sorry. Two one five. Yes. You are for the big lick, you know. Five two, three one. zero. Uh huh. Nine four. Yes. Five nine. Okay, five three zero nine four five nine. Yes, that's it. Okay, okay, all right, okay. Sister Vicky, I'll call you. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you. I'll call you right now, Sister Vicky. Okay. 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 All, all right. right. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye.